And don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy, Chris, with the Knicks. Alright, quickly, I just wanted to talk about the... Quickly, I just wanted to talk about an update on the Makiva Jenkins story. This has not been a good year for the Jenkins. <laughs> Last name. Alright, so a while back, we had told you about this woman who... By the name of McKeeva Jenkins, she was Rags' richest story. She became rich in within two years. She, uh, and she was sharing her secrets with everybody else, you know, trying to make them up, come up on. And we've been told when, um, the husband was on the news and he really didn't have no concern about her being dead. He didn't seem sad. And then the side piece came out, his side piece came out talking about, uh, basically disrespect her, call her a fat bitch, talking about this whole, I'll fuck anybody up, this 40 minute long, um, disrespectful rant about this uh, woman who has passed. Now it has came up that they did investigation and the fuck, and it was the husband who had killed her. Um, and we've been telling you this all along, we already knew, when he was on the news, he had no disconcern, he just seemed like, yeah, you know, she gone, whatever, what, what can I do, you know? And it's really sad, you know, this woman seems like a very great woman, you know, she was nice. And this is why I tell you, you have to be careful who you lay with and who you become friends with. Because when you put money on the table, you only have a certain, only certain people will actually have your back the way that they did when they, when you didn't have nothing. And two things that show people true colors when they have when you have everything and you have nothing you know money takes up uh, makes people do strange and funny things you know they don't care about your life they try to become rich and yeah he killed her just to um i guess have the money and be with the side piece and the side piece was ugly as hell i don't want to see why he killed Ms. Kiva. you know she had it going on it seemed like a nice woman you know that would be like killing uh sinclair from Living single. Anyways, you know, this, this is. I hope he rots in jail. I hope they beat his ass. You know, that was not. That was uncalled for him to do. Because when she got killed, they said there was no screaming. There was no nothing. So obviously, somebody who killed her, that was, that they had to be in the house. You know. And, you know, it's really sad. You know, this woman thought she had a husband and she thought she had somebody. That was her companion, and really he was just looking out. He just wanted the money. He just wanted to get rid of her. He could have claimed insurance, too. So on top of that millions that she had, he could have got some, some extra side cash. Now he in jail for killing her. Just like in that story about that son who killed his mother for, uh, 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 I think it was 5000 uh, that was her retirement money. He killed her. He was flossing with the money. Blood money. She was a hairdresser. You know, that's some real sad shit. You know? And now if you can't watch her, not only can you have to watch out for these uh, people in the streets, you got to watch people that's supposed to be close to you. That's why you got to pay atten real good attention to people's character. And don't really second guess yourself. You know, if your gut is telling you this person ain't right, that person ain't right. You know, sometimes you just got to go with your gut so you won't be sorry. Nowadays, you can't really be too sorry. Because a lot of people in this generation does not have any type of heart, any type of um, feelings. You know, a lot of people are real savage. And nowadays, it, it seems like it's more acceptable. I know people have been savage during the beginning of time, but, but nowadays, it's, it's seen as natural, you know. Because back then, if you tried to, like, do something with a girl that was a drug, if you told dudes about that, they would beat your ass. Nowadays, you know, dudes kind of cheer that on and be like, oh, after you finish, you know, let me hit that real quick. You know, so you just got to be careful of your surroundings. And people who so-called your friends or your companion, just like when that story hit about that guy who, um... He won the lotto and he helped out people in the hood and he got killed and his girlfriend was on the news and she didn't seem too sad about it. She seemed like whatever, that she ran out the house, but you know, she didn't take the kids and when she ran out the house, she didn't get the license plate 
of the car. They just came in the house, you know, killed him, didn't get no money, and ran out. So they need to check that story too, because I feel like she has something to do with that. All right, comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Till then, this is your boy Chris with the next. Peace.